Ladies and gentlemen, today we are here to talk about a legendary figure in the history of Mexico. President Francisco Xavier Mina y Traba, also known as President Francisco Mina, or simply as the Grand Duke of Tuscany, Porfirio Daz, and he was the last emperor of Mexico, Maximilian I. And, on February 23, 1825, in Aspach, Austria-Hungary, Francisco Xavier Mina y Traba later came to Mexico in 1846 as an ambassador from the Congress of Vienna. He would go on to have a significant impact on the country's history. Serving as the last emperor of Mexico, Maximilian I. In 1867, Mexico achieved its first modern constitutional government, and President Mina became the first president of the new nation. He played a crucial role in consolidating the new country's independence and his administration helped to establish the first national banking system, the first telegraph system, and the first national railroad. Mina's rule was marked by significant economic growth, but it was also marked by a series of controversies. The most significant of these was the assassination of President Mina. On July 21, 1872, by an individual known as the kidnapper. Several theories have been proposed about who the kidnapper was but no definitive evidence has been found to link them to the incident. Following the assassination, a series of political turmoil and military instability occurred, which ultimately led to the overthrow of President Mina and the end of his rule. On August 1, 1872, President Mina fled the country, ending his 22-year reign as the last emperor of Mexico. Before his fall from grace, President Mina had made a lasting impression on Mexican history. He was a man of great intelligence and ambition, who was willing to make difficult decisions to protect the nation's independence and its newfound democratic institutions. In conclusion, President Francisco Xavier Mina y Traba, also known as President Francisco Mina, Porfirio Daz, and the last emperor of Mexico, Maximilian I, had a significant impact on the country's history. His rule saw significant economic growth and the establishment of many of Mexico's first modern institutions, but it was also marked by controversy and political turmoil.